Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with a huge Costco haul. I decided to go to Costco and stock up my pantry for the next couple of months. I hadn't been to Costco myself in quite a while, so there were a lot of things that were starting to dwindle in my pantry. And I also thought that I would get things stocked up for the summer months when we do a lot of outdoor cooking and um, quick meals and things like that. So here is the first batch. I'll go ahead and show you everything on the table and then I'll get some of my cold stuff put away and get started on some of the other stuff. Um, also, I'll be showing you today some of the non-food items that I purchased at Costco. I haven't really purchased many non-food items at Costco in the past. I usually go to Walmart for that. But today I thought I would try out some of Costco's non-food, some of their health and beauty products and things like that. So I will go ahead and share with you um, some of those items that I bought today also. Okay, so I'll go ahead and start in the back here. I picked up a big box of Cheez-Its. We haven't had these in quite some time and um, this is something that my daughter really likes and I also love to bring these to my Sunday school class for snacking. And then I got a big box of Bisquick and some of these bare apple um, chips. These are delicious. And then I got some Rice Krispie Treats, also a snack for my Sunday School class, and my husband really loves those as well. And some graham crackers for s'mores. It is almost grilling season and fire pit season, so we love to do s'mores when we have our fire pits going. And then a big uh, case of Bush's Baked Beans, another summer favorite of mine. And then I stocked up on some fruit. I got some mandarin oranges in the cups. I also got some in um, the cans, which I'll show you in a minute. But the uh, mandarin oranges in the cups and a case of fruit cocktail and pear halves and also some organic refried beans and Vienna sausages, and then also some uh, chicken broth, and down here a case of Nally's Original Chili. I absolutely love um, Nally's Original Chili. It's one of my favorites. And then over here on the side, I have my case of mandarin oranges in the little cans. And then moving back over here, I got a bunch of different condiments and things that we were out of. So a double pack of the A1 um, steak sauce and some Parmesan cheese and the uh, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and a two pack of the mayonnaise in the individual squeeze um, bottles, which is so nice for um, making sandwiches and things like that. And last time I was at Costco, they were out of this, so I was really happy to see it back in stock. The McCormick's Brown Gravy um, mix pack here. And then my favorite um, grilling seasoning here, the Grillmates Montreal Steak, definitely a favorite of mine. I also love the Montreal Chicken, too. I also make a lot of taco seasoned meat, so I like to bite in bulk like this as well. That way I can control how much I add. I got a double pack of the canola cooking spray and a big package here of popcorn. I got a two pack of the log cabin syrup here. This is one of my favorite types of syrup and it's so nice that they have it in this big two pack. And I got a six pack of the canned chicken and a pack of tuna. And one thing new I decided to try out were these um, jars of pickled asparagus. It just looked good to me. I really love asparagus and this just seems like it would be something interesting. My son was shopping with us uh, today as well. Him and his wife were with us today and uh, my son thought this looked good as well. So he encouraged me to try this out and uh, we will both probably try it out. So that looks really good. And then I got a big box of frozen waffles and a two pack of paste picante salsa and then a four pack of applesauce. I only got two things for the freezer. My freezer is really stocked up right now. So I got the Eggo waffles and then my husband um, wanted some of these Marie Callender's chicken pot pies to have on hand. And then I also got a case of Spam here. Um, we can take this with when we go camping and things like that. So that'll be nice to have on hand. Then I got a three pack of whipped cream, something I always get at Costco and a pack of their old time white bread and a two pack of the Mexican blended cheese and my favorite little potatoes from the Little Potato Company. Um, I love those. And then I got a pack of organic eggs and then something I haven't had in quite some time, the Kirkland uh, Red Grapefruit Cup. So I'm really glad to have those um, back in the fridge. I absolutely love those. They're definitely good for breakfast. It's something I really enjoy having for breakfast. And then we also got a four pack of Alfredo sauce. 
And this is also something that I've seen at Costco for quite some time and I've always been curious about trying out. We live in Oregon here and we actually had a small earthquake um, a few months back and it just got me to thinking um, we do lie on a major fault line and it would be a good idea to have a few days worth of food put aside just in case we have an earthquake. So I decided to try out this Mountain House four day emergency meal supply. It's supposed to be four days worth of food for one person and the nice thing about it is it stores for a really long time. It says here um, that you can store this for 30 years. That way you don't need to worry about rotating it or anything like that. But I did buy a couple of these and I'm going to go ahead and open one up and try them out and make a video on um, what they look like and what they uh, taste like and what I think of it. So I just thought that, that would be a really fun project to see what this uh, mountain house emergency food is like. So I picked up one of those to try out as well. I just thought that would be a nice thing to have on hand. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put all this away and bring out the rest of what I got. I definitely stocked up, so there's a lot more to look at. And here's the next round of items that I bought from Costco. A lot of really big um, cases of items and some more canned foods. I decided to try out the Del Monte Petite Diced Tomatoes with Green Chilies. I'm hoping that this is a lot like Rotel. Um, they used to have Rotel at my Costco, but they haven't for quite some time. So I'm hoping that this is um, similar to Rotel because we go through a lot of that. Then I got a um, case of corn and green beans. And then I was really excited to see this, a big box of these popcorners. I first tried popcorners from the Dollar Tree. They had them in um, just individual bags there and they are absolutely delicious, especially the white cheddar here. So really happy to have a big bag of those. Then I picked up a box of goldfish packs and Pringles packs and a big box of Oreos and macaroni and cheese. I got both the boxes and the individual cups. My daughter likes the individual cups. And then of course for um, lunges and stuff, it's nice to have the bigger boxes. I also got a couple packs of the Costco muffins for breakfast this week. And I thought I would try out the Cliff Kids Organic Z Bars. Now I really do love just the regular Cliff Bars. Um, it's nice now, their allergy statement, for me anyway, has changed to so that the chocolate chip variety and the brownie variety don't have a tree nut in them, which is really nice. And um, these also did not have any uh, tree nuts listed on their ingredients. So I thought that would be really nice to try out. They have chocolate brownie, chocolate chip, and iced oatmeal cookies. So I really love having these kind of things on hand. Um, my daughter likes throwing them in her purse for work. Same with my husband and myself. If we're on the go, it's nice to have something like a little bar to toss into your bag um, while you're out and about. I also got a case of black beans. I love black beans. And I thought I would give this moon cheese another try. I tried it a while back, not the cheddar flavor. Um, so this just looked really good. It says it's 100% cheese and I just thought it would be fun to try that out for snacking. And then I got a big bag of pinto beans here. I will have to find a container to put this in um, so that I can store it a little bit easier. Until I get a container, I will probably leave them sealed in the bag here. But most of the time I buy my beans canned and I really do love canned beans. They're really good for quick um, fixes of dinner and whatnot, but I love cooked from scratch, cooked from the dried beans, pinto beans. And I haven't made any from dried beans in quite some time. So I thought I would go ahead and pick up a bag so I could make my own pinto beans. I thought that, that would be fun. And then I got a big double pack of lemonade here. I really love their, their organic lemonade. It's really good. And then I also got a couple boxes of these Godivas for Mother's Day coming up. I love these little packs of Godivas. Um, this is one of my mother's favorites, and I know my mother-in-law also enjoys these. So got a couple really pretty packs of these uh, Godiva chocolates. So that is it for the food portion of this haul. And now I'll go ahead and share with you some of the non-food items I bought from Costco today. Okay, so here are some of the non-food items I bought at Costco today. The first thing I bought was a big bag of dog food. It is over here. We decided to try the healthy weight dog food this time. We've had our dog on Kirkland dog food for a long time and it's really great, but she is a little bit pudgy according to her vet and we know she is. She's a Labrador and as they get older they do tend to put on some weight. So um, it was also recommended that we take out uh, the wheat in her diet and that uh, dog food also didn't have wheat in it. So we thought we would give that dog food a try and see how she likes it. And like I said, it was nice looking through some of their health and beauty products. So I thought I would stock up on some of those things and try them out. I usually um, use Listerine of this same type. So we'll try out the Kirkland um, type of this uh, Cool Mint mouthwash. 
And then I also got a big pack of these Neutrogena makeup wipe removers. Um, I haven't had any of these for a long time and I really do love them. So it'll be nice to have a big pack of those back. My husband loves to um, keep his glasses clean with lens wipes. And so I thought I would try out this pack here. It's a three pack with little individual packets of lens wipes that he can keep in his car. So it'll be nice to see how those work out. And then also we got some Dove body wash here. I love buying my batteries at Costco. It's such a great deal. So I got a pack of double A's. And then also it is allergy season around here. And this is the kind that me and my daughter use. This is like uh, com comparable to Claritin. Um, my husband was using this too, but he wasn't having much luck. So he's gonna try out this one called Allerflex. Um, it says it's comparable to Allegra. So we'll see how that works out. And also we stocked up on Advil and Tylenol. And I thought that these were really cute. These are little band-aid kits. It comes with a nice little container here and a big mixture of different bandages as well as some little individual packs of Neosporin, which I thought was really nice. And then to go with that, some alcohol prep pads just to keep um, things clean. That way I can restock the bathroom with um, bandaging supplies. It's always nice to have a good assortment of those on hand and to be all stocked up. So I thought that was really nice to find that kit at uh, Costco today. And then also I spotted these um, seat covers. I was in the market for seat covers for my car and um, these were very inexpensive, only $20 for a two pack. So I will give those a try. Originally I was gonna get something a bit fancier, but for the price, these looked really nice. So I'm definitely gonna give those a try and we'll see how those work out. It'll be nice to clean up my car and get some new seat covers on. And then also we got this really cute little lantern pack. They're collapsible lanterns here. I thought that these would be really nice to take camping. So I thought I would try those out and I thought it was nice that they came with batteries. And then my husband picked up socks. He loves to get his socks at Costco. A nice little pack of them there. These are weatherproof uh, vintage outdoor socks. And then I found a few fun books. It is always so tempting to look at their book section. They have so many wonderful books and the prices are great. This book, The Forest Feast, has been on my list of books that I've wanted for a long time. Um, and this was about uh, four or five dollars less than the Amazon price. So I thought I would go ahead and pick it up. You can see the pictures are just beautiful in here. Lots of really creative recipes that are just beautiful. So I'm really excited to look through this one. And my husband decided to pick up a monthly Portland magazine. It is the edition with the neighborhoods, the different neighborhoods in Portland. So we thought that that would be interesting. And then I got this big book here. You can see how big it is, really giant. It's called Home Repair, Wisdom, and Know-How. Now my husband is a really handy fellow and he probably knows how to fix everything, but I thought it'd be really interesting to have this on hand just so I can look through it and just so we can have a nice little encyclopedia sort of book with all of the different um, home repair problems that could come up. I just thought that looked like an interesting book. So those are all the non-food items that we purchased at Costco today. It was, again, it was really nice looking through that section. I usually go straight to grocery and occasionally I'll grab like Advil and stuff like that, but I haven't really taken the time to look through the whole section um, in a really long time. So that was nice to do. So those are all the groceries and non-food that I bought at Costco today, a nice big haul. And now I will go ahead and share with you my weekly meal plan. It has been a couple of weeks. We've been so busy. I haven't been doing my meal planning. I'm so glad to be back on track with that. And um, it's just much easier to plan out your meals so you know in advance what you'll be making. So this is my meal plan for next week, April 30th through May 6th. On Monday the 30th, we'll be having a taco ring with mandarin oranges. I'm gonna try out that recipe that I keep seeing with the crescent rolls and taco meat and fillings. And then on Tuesday the 1st, we'll have a chili cornbread bake. On Wednesday the 2nd, we'll have a chicken bacon and Alfredo casserole. On Thursday the 3rd, that is my husband's birthday and he has requested his favorite country style barbecue ribs with corn on the cob and baked potato and a pineapple upside down cake. And then on Friday the 4th, we'll be having steak strips and gravy over rice with veggies. And on Saturday the 5th, I just called this a freezer clean out meal. So I really need to go through some of the meats in my freezer and kind of start rotating those out and getting those organized and used up. As you noticed in my Costco haul today, I didn't buy any um, meats and that is because I am fully stocked up and I need to start working through those. So I've included a day um, to go out and look at my freezer and see what um, meal I can come up with from the food out in the freezer. And I also know I have a lot of pork chops to use up. So on Sunday the 6th, I thought we'd make pork chops, stuffing, and green beans. So that is my meal plan for the first week in May. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my Costco haul and hearing my meal plan. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe for more videos from April's home. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.